President Biden is joining former presidents Obama and Clinton in New York for what's expected to be the biggest political fundraiser night of all time. $25 million expected to be raised in one night. The AP reports that at the end of February, Biden's campaign had $155 million cash on hand, while Trump and his super PAC had only $37 million cash on hand. Teddy Schleifer covers the intersection of big bucks and politics for Puck News. He joins us now. Teddy, thanks so much for being with us. Um, talk to us about sure. the importance of an event like this and the importance of that much money for the Biden team? Sure. Well, look, Biden already has so many advantages when it comes to uh, uh, party fundraising. And the fact that his party is, is so consolidated around him, which is not the case with Trump, is, is a boon to his fundraising. I mean, can you imagine this event happening with, with Donald Trump and uh, Mitt Romney and George W. Bush and, uh, <laughs> you know, even Mike Pence? Uh, these are the, the elder statesmen in the Republican Party, including the former Republican presidents, wouldn't get anywhere near Donald Trump. Mm. So the fact that Joe Biden is able to kind of consolidate um, his party's elites around him um, not only, you know, makes for a good headline, it also drives donors to show up because they want to see Barack Obama. They want to see Bill Clinton. Uh, and, and I think Republicans um, who, who are major donors are, are still maybe begrudgingly uh, with Trump, but they're certainly not going to be delivering an event like the Biden campaign is able to deliver tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, Trump has always been more of a solo act, where Biden's been more of an ensemble player over the years. Um, we saw video this week of, of Donald Trump selling Bibles <laughs> to try to make some money. Um, yeah. What is the state of the finances for the Trump campaign, and, and should Trump supporters be worried? So the good news for Trump is I think the situation is getting better. Um, there are a lot of major Republican donors who obviously um, were settling, right? They, they believe that, you know, they, they had to kind of support Nikki Haley because they thought, you know, she was the only chance to beat Trump. But they knew the entire time that this was uh, a long shot of long shots. And, and now they're coming to the fold. You know, Trump is doing a lot of kind of major donor outreach over the last eight weeks, I would say. Um, and the message he's delivering to major donors is, look, you might want someone else, but like, I'm who the party chose. And, you know, your options are to get on the Trump train or, or be politically irrelevant. Um, so I think lots of Republican major donors at this point um, ha have, have begrudgingly accepted that he's the nominee. And um, they are showing up in, in some ways. Um, I do expect Trump to be outspent. Um, I, I do think that Trump is going to have um, uh, issues even with small dollar donors. It's, it's, it's clear that people that have uh, supported him for a really long time, that we're beginning to see in digital data signs of fatigue, mm -hmm. which is pretty troubling given it's only March. Yeah. And, and obviously, there are also major donors who say, you know, so much of the cash that's being donated, especially to these outside groups, is ultimately being spent on Trump's legal bills. Um, and, you know, that is not money that's being spent to beat Joe Biden. I yeah. know that's money that helps Donald Trump to some extent, and maybe his legal legal fortunes are so intertwined with his political ones that it's worth it. But again, these are problems that Joe Biden does not have. Teddy Schleifer, uh, thank you so much for your reporting. You can check it out at Puck News uh, to read more about that. Marla, now over to you.